All right, everyone, welcome back to part two of the Gauntlet of Gales. Minecraft Dungeons, as per usual, we're picking up right where we last left off, obviously. As you guys know, we cannot pause mid-dungeon. Well, we can, but it's very tricky. We cannot leave and come back mid-dungeon, so I am in the same place, picking up right after ending the last episode. I got some vitamin water with me. I'm going to be drinking on this because it's still early in the morning. I'm a little bit parched today. But, again, we are getting back in the swing of things. We are officially moved pretty much settled into where we want where we wanted to have things as you can see the setup has changed a little bit here um we do still have our spoopy skull sign in the background there um just chilling but i had to find a good spot for it it was either there i could have tried to put it there but usually when i'm sitting here you're not going to see that right behind me and then um obviously that's a window right there so i like it i like it. a more natural flow of a background behind us than very uh consolidated feel to it so you get a gist of everything else that's in the background down there it's probably gonna a lot of that stuff will probably shift over time um as i get settled in a little bit more anyway so there's also a bit of flip-flop with my um setup here with how i am playing normally i would be actually facing to my right hand side and playing in that direction um, but now I've switched my gaming monitor to be on my left side just to accommodate for this setup that we have. But anyways, the Gauntlet of Gales, we are starting here just to get back into the swing of Minecraft Dungeons. Because um, with me moving, I hadn't played like really anything in like a, a week, a week and a half. So I wanted to start relatively easily into things, kind of get our groove back, maybe find some better gear for ourselves, and then um, and then get back into the Echoing Void DLC, because that's where we need to be spending our time. We need to defeat, defeat that boss. I know you guys, a lot of you guys are probably waiting for that to happen. I know that you guys were also waiting for this to happen, so... Here it is. We are getting through the Gauntlet of Gales. This was released with the Echoing Void DLC. This is the free content that they released with it. Looks like that guy uh, got crushed there. What do we got in this direction? Anything good? We got one of these guys. Well, we got a lot of guys down here. I honestly wasn't expecting this many people down this way. Interesting. Do we have a... Um, uh, priestess down here or something giving them perks or whatever we might may have i don't know i was trying to see get this guy double damage no thank you yikes okay that explains why we were taking a lot of damage there um but yeah guys this is part two if you missed part one highly recommend going back and checking her out um we did do a lot of work we did a lot of progression i did do a lot of talking which is very customary to our videos um, but I did try to keep it short. That's why we are having a part two. Instead of putting out a 40-minute episode, we'll have like two 20 to 30-minute episodes. I think that's a little bit more manageable, right? What do we got here? Plate armor. Mm, not really in my style. Not really with the enchantments that I would want anyways. All right. Always best to start with taking out the waves of enemies first just makes it a little bit easier we do need to change armor anywho so smarter for us to get through these guys and then switch our armor and see what we can get from here looks like just another claymore again i'm not i'm not super thrilled with everything that we've been finding thus far all the chests have been pretty crummy we really haven't walked away with anything good i think the um end portal map the um oh i already forget what the what it's called i already forget what the end portal map is called i should know it offhand honestly by this point in time um but that had way better loot because you could get obsidian chests from there like who doesn't want that we were getting so many legendaries from there uh it was a great place to go we definitely need to go back and farm that place a little bit more and get some good loot because as I was talking on in the first episode, or the first part of this, I should say, um, I really want to switch out our build even more. Um, as I was out, uh, you guys were leaving a lot of comments on the videos, which I do appreciate, as always, guys. Um, but talking on different builds, different strategies, and so on and so forth. So uh, you definitely got the creative juices flowing, um, and I really want to try different setups. So 
I don't know why. So there's that guy there, right? But there's not like a button here. Is there a button over here somewhere? There it is. That's what we need to get right there. We'll hit that. It charges that. And then it releases that guy. So we'll just have to take on that guy, which is not too bad. I mean, we don't even have to take him on. He's kind of far away, to be completely honest. We probably would have been fine just leaving him there. But I feel like they offer the best possibility of good loot right now. All right, we got another one down here. Another one. And taken out. Not too bad. Really not too bad. And here is another chest. Let's back off a little bit here. Get these all these guys taken out. So I've been spending some time, um, you know, as I've been moving and getting everything set up here, just making sure things sound good and knocking my microphone. There we go. Um, and I think we're to a good place. I think everything is sounding pretty good. Um, it is a little bit early in the morning here, so if my voice sounds a little bit off, that is why. Um, but I am going from carpeted flooring throughout my old apartment to now hardwood flooring, which, don't get me wrong, is amazing. <laughs> Um, but you know what? I have, as uh, surprising as it may be, I have never experienced, like, I've never lived with hardwood flooring in my life. My childhood home was just carpet. That's all it was, was just carpet. Which, really, nothing wrong with that at all, right? But not being exposed to hardwood previously is just a, it's a, it's a game changer. Uh, that kind of stinks. That's kind of stinky poo-poo as well. We're going to get rid of all those. And I think we've gone through and explored everything in this area. Um, Just the way that you need to upkeep with it and everything like that, right? Like with a carpet, it's, it's so easy to just vacuum, right? Oh, I just need to vacuum the floors, right? Now, if you spill something... It's a little bit harder, right? On on a hardwood floor, no pun intended, um, it's a little easier to clean up a spill, right? You spill your apple juice on the floor, you just get some paper towels, you get some bounty, the quickest, quicker picker-upper, and you just sweep her on up and you she good to go. On a carpet, it's a little bit different, where you either got to get to it quick, or the easiest thing would be to have a, um, you know, have a carpet cleaner. But obviously those get a little bit pricey. What do we got here? Anything good? No. Switch over to that. Eat our pork. And another claymore. Would you look at that? What a big surprise. But yeah. It, it, so, but the thing with hardwood is it just gets so dirty so easily. Like, you don't, like, I, you know, I haven't been wearing shoes or socks. I know everyone's different with how they approach, you know, being in their own living areas, right? But, you know, I'm just going barefoot. And it's dirty. It gets dirty quick in here. <clears throat> For whatever reason. Oh, look at this. This is pretty sick. Okay. Get across here and then... Oh, wow. Okay. Dude, this is gonna be... Oh, my Lanta. Well, we did. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to figure this one out. Um, ooh, okay, I can't roll. Don't be an idiot. Don't roll. Take your time. I really don't know which direction I want to be going. That one I definitely needed to roll. Okay, so this brought us over here, which doesn't really matter because that thing could have brought us over there. Looks like we just need to make our way across in general. Okay, and then we're going to want to hop back over to this one. Okay, oh, I was like, where am I at? I probably wanted to stay on that one, didn't I? There's a pot over there, but I don't know if that makes that big of a difference. Okay, I don't think I missed anything. I think we're A-OK. -okay. We do have some, like, gravitational creepers over there that I wanted to avoid as much as possible. Okay, how are we doing? Pretty decent thus far. Nothing good there. And I don't think we missed any chests, so I'm, I'm content with moving forward. But yeah, I don't, it's just, you know, I, I'm just getting used to it, right? That's the biggest thing. And I know you got to keep up with cleaning it and 
And, you know, a lot of people will mop, but like Swiffer Wet Jet is another thing, so I might grab one of those. And um, yeah, it's just a whole whole new thing, right? And then accommodating for any echo that you might get, right? Because you're not having as much dampening from a carpet. And then I can only imagine what it'll be in the winter time here, because we do have relatively um, tough winters here where I live. Nothing too crazy, but I'm sure it'll get cold. I'm going for this chest. I don't care. We're going right off the bat. That's not what I wanted. Well, we didn't get anything good. Big surprise. And that's it. We got Hunter's Armor, which is just junky. We really haven't been getting anything good from this. I'm actually relatively disappointed with it thus far. All right, so it does look like we have another trial here. We just need to get through, hit the button. I did something. Okay. Well, that's one way I guess you could try to do that. Get him taken out, roll through, hit that button. Don't know what that really does, but we definitely want to get this going. Which I don't know. There's probably another button. There's that guy over there. Ooh, he did a lot of damage to us. I guess we can take these guys on through the, um, whatchamacallits here. We want to go this way and get that button. We already got that button. It looks like that side is good to go. All right, let's just double check, make sure we're not missing any, um, um, oh, okay, missing anything. All right, did we get all of them? That's the question. Looks like we did get that one. And we did get that one. Okay, cool. Just wanted to make sure. Don't know why I used a health potion right there. Really didn't need to. Okay. There we go. We made it through. All right. We should be on our way forward. How are we doing on time? 12 minutes in. Finish the gauntlet. Okay, we're on the last stretch of it, it sounds like, because um, obviously it's telling us to finish the gauntlet. Okay. New event. Arena battle. Where is my iron golem? Where is my iron golem? Don't know why I had to say it like that. But anyway, I hope everyone's doing great out there. I've been really enjoying this... Um, not only this DLC, but this game in general, realistically. Um, obviously, we've gotten almost 100 episodes going on the series here, which is... Uh, it's just so cool to see. It's so cool to see how far we have come, right? From our early days of Minecraft Dungeons to where we're at now. It's always funny to see us... I'll look back at some of our original videos from time to time and be like, I had no idea what I was doing. But, I mean, that's how a lot of people are, right? You get into a fresh game, you don't know what you're doing. And then you look back after the fact and you're like... Yeah, we probably could have done that differently. We could have handled that differently. And looking at it even more, we definitely got extremely lucky with our harp crossbow find that we got relatively early on. Whoa, we got an illusioner. All right, we almost got him taken out. There we go. We did get him taken out. Now we can claim our prize. That was it. We just had to do that, and now we can claim our prize. Interestingly enough, okay. Get that guy taken out, and I was going to say, if it's just pots, I'm going to be really disappointed. Okay, actually, hang on. I think we can... Does this? Does Luck of the Sea work on rare drops to become unique, but it doesn't help with, like, emerald drops, which would be really useful right now to get more emeralds and i don't think i have any kind of armor that would have that on there i'm trying to look really quickly to see um if we have anything that would be useful in that sense so you just have to give me a hot second as we roll through um gold glory chance to spawn emeralds when exploring 
which is not really what we want. Gilded glory, I'm sorry. Here we go. Or that's a death barter. That's not really what I wanted. I, I swear there was one that would like increase your emerald drops overall. Uh, but you know what? We probably just don't have... Probably don't have it on anything here. We do have surprise gift. No. Recycler? No. Again, and I could be very well mistaken here, guys. But I just want to look, since we are here and we do have some time to just kind of peek through all of our... Um, our gear that we currently have. Um, and that's going to be the end of it there. So, anywho. It is what it is. We're almost at 23,000. Which is crazy. 23,000 emeralds. Alright, let's get on our robe here. Um, let's start with this one over here. Whoa. Oh, I forgot we have teleportation on this. Alright, really not a good drop there. Kind of junky. And let's take a peek at this em or the obsidian chest. Wow, Hunter's Armor. Uh, it does have Luck of the Sea on it, which is pretty nice, but um, we need to get more arrows per bundle. Uh, but I want ones that have multiple Luck of the Seas on it, so we're going to get rid of that. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to wear this through the end here and see if we do get some good stuff off of the final one. So that is a victory right there in part two. It's going to be about another 20-minute episode, I would assume. So let's get back to base camp here. And it's been a hot minute since we've actually won a, uh, a run through because um, we were having a lot of troubles with that Echoing Voids DLC, the Broken uh, Citadel. Let's see what we get here. So damage, not too bad. We didn't die. All right, we got the Updraft Tome, which I feel like we've gotten before. But I could be mistaken. I could, and I'm not really a big fan of it. Let's take a look at the map. Go to our island realms. It looks like there is still something here that we could find. And we can bump it up into um, higher apocalypse modes. Uh, but I just wanted to take a peek on our basic one there that we should be at. Wow, a unique armor in the normal merchant shop. You don't see that that often. That's actually really interesting. 50% um, movement speed aura. You get 10 arrows per bundle. So this is definitely a ranged one. Increased range attack in general. Um, yeah, pets. Like, this one's good for pets. If you bring a pet out, like, that's really good for them. And other than that, well, I don't know. How much is it? What is it? 200. It's like nothing. Let's buy it. Why not? I think that's pretty sick. Um, obviously, we're going to keep an eye out for good armors. Let's re-roll it here and see what more we can get. The Thundering Quiver, we already have one of those. Um, Spelunker Armor, nothing too crazy. We'll re-roll one. Oh, I didn't want to buy that. I just wanted to re-roll or restock. <laughs> Whoopsies. Happens. Um, mm, nothing. We'll do one more restock and then call it a day. Yeah, really nothing popping up here. So we do need to get rid of this. I did not want this. This seems pretty interesting. Um, how's our blacksmith doing? We do have a spot for it, and I wanted to throw these fisticuffs in there so we could get the enchantments off of it and uh, have those in our pocket. Is this enchanted? No, it's not. It's just from a special event, the Sinister Sword, from quite some time ago. All right, let's check out the Luxury Merchant. Let's see what we got here. A golem kit 110. We do have bees as well. What is our golem at? 104. That is quite pricey for that, though. The Buzzy Nest is mad. We do use this guy a lot, though. That does some good damage. How does that compare to what we do? Um, what was that? Getting up into the 3,000s? Yeah. You know what? We got the money for it. Why not? Let's buy it. Let's switch him out. And we'll get rid of it. Now, we could have easily upgraded it, but I think it's fine. We got plenty of monies, right? Snow Armor, nothing crazy. The Corrupted Seeds, uh, which is good for poison. That would be really good for a... Poison build. 1300 though. Um, no, let's. I want to restock. That's what I want to do. See if we can get anything else. Wow, there it is. That's what we wanted right there. That emerald one right there. That's exactly what we wanted, and we did not get it. So, But anyways, guys, that is going to do it for this episode. Unfortunately, really, really poor loot drops this run through. Uh, but you know what? We are getting back into it. 
Um, I think, you know, heading back to the Broken Citadel is going to be our next step. We do need to defeat that boss. And we got to play it smart. That was the problem. We weren't playing it smart. And that's what we're going to have to do moving forward. Now, on the mainland here, we do have the Stronghold. That's what it is where we could do some good farming at. Um, and then we also have some other things that we could go through as well and complete, right? Finding some additional um, loots. And also... Um, just kind of getting ourselves bumped up into these other apocalypse modes, right? We have apocalypse plus one, two, three, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so that would be really good for us to do. And then we also have our ancient hunts to get back to as well. We haven't done an ancient hunt in quite some time. I guess we could have started there, uh, realistically. Um, but yeah, we haven't done this in quite some time. Ooh, there's that guy has that on there as well. That's pretty nice. Um, but not for 145 gold. That's not that great either. Uh, but getting back into some ancient hunts, I know they added in some new ancients as well. So it'd be really interesting to check some of those out. Tag on some of those guys that we had troubles with in the past. So a lot more coming down the pipeline, guys. But obviously these first two episodes here, this two-parter um, series or little mini-series in the Minecraft Dungeons run-through of the um, Gauntlet, right? What is it? The I already forgot what the name is. It's That's so bad. I just said it. Gauntlet of Gales. Um was our nice intro back into the swing of things but anyways guys i've been mumbling on too much here let's wrap up the episode so i hope you guys did enjoy if you did feel free to leave a like down below or better yet leave a comment let me know what you're thinking here on the series um any tips tricks suggestions like i said i always love reading through what you guys have to say if you are new here and you don't want to follow along and you want to keep up with any of these minecraft videos uh minecraft dungeons minecraft enigmatica so modded minecraft or minecraft story mode highly recommend hitting that subscribe button and bell notification and let you know every single time a new episode is posted here on the channel we do try to stream over on twitch link in the description down below if you want to follow along over there and get notified when we do go live and we do have a community discord set up if you feel like joining in the community or just staying up to date on the channel i do try to post updates over there as well but other than that guys thank you so much for tuning in and hanging out with me today i appreciate it so very much I'll catch you all on the next one. Take it easy.